duty. So, yeah, I knew it was after the first week of, of June, because that's a, a three-day holiday for us, three-day weekend. But apart from that, I don't know what date it happened. I didn't make a note, but I know it definitely happened and got baptised probably six or eight months later or something. Um, so... I guess everybody's testimony, we can thank John Newton, he pretty much wrote everybody's testimony, I once was lost, but now I'm found, I was blind, but now I see, so we can all just sort of say, well, thanks for Mr. Newton, <laughs> that's it, we don't, end of story, you know, shut the, shut the book, we're done, um, but um, it, it, you didn't need to tell me I was a sinner. Do you know, I was. It was pretty obvious. I didn't. Some people think they're really good, and you can't. You know what? I'm not good enough to get into heaven. You know, but no, you didn't need to tell me. I was um, alcoholic, drug addict, and living with my abusive boyfriend when I came to know the Lord. So, um, yeah, you didn't need to tell me that I was doing a few things, but naughty. <laughs> um, but since then, um, no turning back. I actually, somebody pointed out a verse to me very early that it. Uh, a dog will always go back to its vomit, and I determined, I just determined before the Lord, I this dog was not going to go back to that vomit that was in the world, all of it, you know, I just did not want to go back there, it was, it's awful, it was just awful, just um, the friends, the people I knew, acquaintances, the people you know, we knew where we hang out, the things we did, just awful, just awful, you know, um, car accidents and go before the courts and get your license taken off you and pay big fines, it's, it's not fun, who wants to go back to that? Vomit, vomit's a really good word, you know, um, so just, yeah, so moving forward and from that time, hadn't looked back, I was, I was actually really glad because the Lord gives us a clean slate the moment we accept Christ, ask Him to forgive our sins, and 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 um, ask Him into our hearts. He He wipes the slate clean. You can start again. You know what it says. What your your sins is it? Your sins and iniquities are thrown as far as the east is from the west, and that's in a straight line. That's that's not around the globe, and they meet on the other side. That's you know, or or they're thrown in the depths of the ocean. You know, in the depths of the deep, and there's no sort of fishing them back up again. You know, there, and and for, for myself, I needed to know that that now before the Lord. And there's a verse, Second Corinthians five seventeen. Therefore, King James Bible. <laughs> therefore, if any man, I know this off by heart. <laughs> may, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. New creature, all things are passed away, they're dead, they're gone. Behold, all things are become new. And I was so, so thankful that, that, that before the Lord I was new and I could just start again. And, and all those choices, you know, when your kids, you know, you tell our kids, hmm, that was a bit of a bad choice. We can think about that one next time and you might make a good choice, you know. You can choose to obey mum and dad or you can choose not to. You know, and there are consequences if you choose not to. Okay, don't don't run across the road. You'll get hit by a car. Are you going to obey that instruction? You're not. What's the consequence? <laughs> you know. So um, yeah, being obedient to the Lord is um, is something I've sort of never since I got saved. Tried, never tried to um, yeah, deviate from that path. Um, Oh, what else? <laughs> um, yeah, so that was really important, getting a clean slate. Um, my boyfriend, as soon as he knew that I was not going to hang out, didn't want to hang out, doesn't do the same things, he was pretty much gone. So I'm like, yes, I don't really like you anyway. <laughs> you know, be gone. Um, and I was prepared for the loss of friends too a little bit. It was a little bit sad, you know, these are all my buds, you know, there was a, um, we had the four musketeers, you know, my four, my four of us girls and we were the four musketeers. Um, I'm not friends with them anymore. They're just the Christmas cards, just got less and less every year. But the replacement friends, you know, it was like that Christ-shaped vacuum you have in your, in your life just got filled up with, with true friends. You know, um, genuine.
that really cared. They, you know, they were more. I don't know. What do you call them? They were the friends, or I don't know. But you know, and now, one I don't know. We I haven't seen her for decades. You know, in the thirty years I've been saying, haven't seen her or in contact with her. A um, couple of times, maybe I've bumped into the other two, but not really. And uh, no regrets, you know. The last time, um, well, one of the ones she moved to Australia, uh, I took her to um, to a rally or, you know, an evangelist uh, meeting. And um, she came along and, and every time, so there was music and that was fine, but every time somebody got up to say something of depth, something really important, she'd go out for a cigarette <laughs> outside and you know, and then she come back and the music start again, and then we were leaving, walking the, back to our car, and she goes, "Oh, Sally, that was okay, but I don't don't invite me again because I probably wouldn't go." And I says, "Well, Lisa, you know, if I didn't think it was important, I wouldn't have invited you. <laughs> so, you know, here's, there's your opportunity." Um, and before the Lord, my you know, my hands are clean. That's her choice. But again, the choices, good choice or bad choice, broad road or the narrow way. You know, that, that broad freeway, you can be in different lanes. You could be the Buddhist lane or the, you know, um, Muslim lane or whatever these lanes are here, the good works lane. Or it's the tiny little off ramp. That's like a, a really small and narrow and, and rough, and it's, and it's the narrow way, and it's the hard way. It's not easy. It's more like a goat track, really, you know, and, and, and few find that way because most people are doing this, and so, so few. So there's less of us, but there's more genuine around the world, I think. So, yeah.